Yeah, we've got news courtesy of Primavera Sound, the best festival in Europe, the only festival in Europe that matters, the best festival in Europe, the only festival that matters. Primavera Sound have put out their lineup for next year already. Festival season's already fucking, it's already up, man. Festival season's already around the corner. It's so annoying, bro. I've already got a list, actually. I've got a list of festivals, actually, on my phone. Let me see, because the ones I want to go to in Europe that I've kind of I've already specced out of things I want to do because I was already upset that I couldn't do anything this year because I was fucking lazy. But next year, the festivals I've got listed, Dre Molen in Netherlands, Nation of Godwana in Germany, Butik in Slovenia, and Horst in Belgium. That's my kind of overall plan. Five festivals, no, four, sorry, including Primavera. So Primavera, Barcelona, Dre Molin, Netherlands, National Godwana, Germany, Butik in Slovenia, and Horst in B Belgium. Those are my five festivals. And why I'm doing those? Because obviously London or the UK, sorry, we have great festivals also. Um, we have great festival culture here, right? Um, we're basically a country built on festivals for the best part. But the really unfortunate part of it is, number one, the price of festivals in the UK is exorbitant, especially in relation to the experience you're going to have. Not that great. But the worst thing for me, apart from the price, because you can get used to that, is the sound, man. Sorry, the sound is so bad. The sound is so terrible at UK festivals. It really isn't worth going. I honestly don't think so. And I'm not talking about like an audio file. Oh, the sound is horrible. I can't hear the bass. No, legitimately, because we have these really crazy rules around... Um, noise pollution in most parts of the uk you really can't have like massive stacks of speakers or whatever it may be to really get the sound where it needs to go so that wherever you're standing on the field because it's all open air and it's not over a tent or underground you know under a roof it's hard to kind of make things sound great but obviously festivals in europe can do that because they can put speakers up everywhere because they don't have such strict laws around noise pollution from the local council and shit but we do in the uk so a lot of festivals can't really go crazy with the fucking um, sound systems because they're going to get complaints if they get complaints they get shut down immediately usually for the most part even if, even if the festival is in the middle of a field not next to any residential buildings most councils will always side with the residents it's a, it's, a st it's a standard conversation around fucking gentrification and whatever it may be but they always side the residents so if you do skirt the rules if you do try and push the limit you'll get your whole festival cancelled and then you're fucked forever going forward. So you have to comply with the rules and have basically a couple of speakers at the front, nothing at the back, so that if you go to festivals in the UK, you'll notice in pictures and videos, you'll see a horde of people rammed at the front. Now, a lot of them are super fans, but most of the time they're doing that because they spent already 300 quid on a festival ticket. They want to fucking hear what, they, what they're there to hear. Because if you stand too far back, if you're next to the bar, if you're where the toilets are doing a fucking bump, if you're back at, if you know, if you're just standing at the back finger banging someone next to a tree, or if you're just standing at the back at the old man spot where I'm usually at, you can't hear shit or the sound is terrible. So I would much rather spend the extra money to travel somewhere else and go to a festival in Europe and actually hear the people I'm going to go and see. The good thing about the festivals in Europe, they're way more cost effective. I could literally go, I swear to God, I could literally go to Primavera Sound with the flight and the ticket for the same price as it is for the ticket only to somewhere like Glastonbury. I'm pretty sure a flight and an entry ticket to Primavera Sound in Barcelona is going to cost me probably... 200 pounds right when is it it's like in may right june may 200 pounds and the ticket you know and the ticket will probably be about the same 250 500 euros altogether a ticket to fucking glastonbury is already going to be 300 minimum and of course that is if you get in all this sort of malarkey so the prices are crazy so you could get flights and then this is going to one of the nicest countries in europe great food great drinking culture great clubs great bars um, sightseeing, all the best bands. So I really do love Primavera. I don't have any other good, you know, I can't say anything more about it. I don't already say about it. I'm really fucking licking their asses. But the lineup is already out here. There's an A to Z listing of the lineup. Um, you got 07. Let me just go for the people that I like. I'm spotted here. Um, 07 Shake, of course. AG Cook. Um, who else I like here? Um, Amare. This girl is fucking amazing. I thought she was actually from, 
I thought she was from back home, but she is African. But she's, if I'm not mistaken, she's born and bred in New York or something. So, but she's fucking incredible. I really like her. Um, Amari, Amare, I don't know how you pronounce her name, but she's awesome. Um, Bad, Bad, Not Good, of course. Arka, great. Um, Beth Gibbons, great. Bikini, great. Charlie XCX, I would love to see their play. Um, what else have you got here? Um, Chloe Calette is a good DJ. I would love to see play. You got the clips performing. That would be fucking awesome to see them perform together. Um, who else you got here? Um, Disclosure, I would like to see play well. DJ Fire in the Club, I'd like to see perform. Um, Ethel Kane, I would like to see perform. FK Twigs, I would love to see. Freddie Gibbs. Um, Heron Sauna, Sam. To be fair, the DJ gigs are a bit weird. Heron Sauna, Sam, back to back with MCM, back to back with Salomon, back to back with SPF DJ. I'm not really too sure if I want to see a DJ at Primavera Sound. I've got to be honest. I prefer to see like actual live acts or bands or artists. You know what I mean? I think it's a bit, it's a bit naff going to a festival like that with such great, you know, diversity of fucking artists to go into a DJ. A bit of a waste of time, personally. Um, but these are all people confirmed early. High Tech, uh, Julia Moore, uh, Justice, right? First live performance from them in 2024. That'll be sick to see Justice perform. Lana Del Rey will be fucking sick to go and watch perform. Um, Code 9, again, DJ, I'll probably lead that to the side. Mount Kimball, I wouldn't mind to see. Who else have you got here? Peggy Goo performing. Actually, I wouldn't mind, you know, as a, as a visual. As a visual, I wouldn't actually mind to see Peggy Goo perform because even though I've talked a lot of fucking smack about her over the years, I haven't actually seen her perform with my own eyes and ears. I actually haven't been in a club where she's been performing. I don't think so. Or in the only place. So I wouldn't actually mind to go see her perform because she's actually, even though she's a DJ, she does kind of like perform a lot behind the booth. She does take it quite seriously. She has put in a bit of a show. So that might actually be quite fun to go and see. So I wouldn't mind seeing Peggy Goo perform actually. I might add it to my list. Um, Omar Apollo, I am definitely want to go see him perform. That'd be pretty good. PJ Harvey, of course. She's always performing at thingy at Primavera, I feel like. Rock Marciano, that'd be sick to see him uh, perform there. One of my favorite rappers. Royzen Murphy. Oh, Royzen Murphy performing at Primavera Sound. <sighs> With a fucking cerveza in your hand and shit. All right? Woo! Twirling around. That's going to be good. Um, who else I like here? Uh, Sega Bodega will be good to see perform as well. Um, who else I like? Here? Scissor, of course. Yes, we've got to get Scissor there. Scissor will be great to see perform. I'd love to see her perform there. The National, why not? Vampire Weekend, come on, bro. That's going to be a fucking vibe. They've got fucking hits for days. Wolf Eyes, The National, I said already before. Um, Troy Sivan, I feel the rush. Addicted to your touch. Hey, that would be fucking sick hearing that perform live. And a few other people too. Of course, the Blessed Madonna's there as well. And a few other people too. But yeah, Primavera Sound Festival, one for the heads. And Jay Paul as well performing. Jay Paul, I'm not really too sure I want to... I, don't get me wrong, I'm not looking forward to seeing it, but I want, to, I want to hear what he sounds like. But he sounds pretty awful when he performs. The last time he performed that was at what, Coachella, I think, innit? And it was fucking garbage. First performance in a while, but it wasn't very good. He can't really sing that well, to be fair, live. So eager to see what that's going to be like. But yeah, um, really good lineup. Love the diversity. Love the breadth. And again, one of my favorite festivals. So I can't wait to go when that does eventually happen. I cannot wait to go. Primavera Sound in Barcelona. You know the vibes. Dates are there, right? 2nd of June to the 29th of May. Was it? Oh, no. Is it two dates here? What's the actual dates, actually? Let me see the dates here quickly before we move on. Uh, let's see. Tickets. And I think the tickets are there. I think they're like 250 if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so it's from the, the 30th of May to the the 30th of May to the 1st of June. Look at the ticket prices, man. 265. That's minor, bro. Considering the other festivals, what they do. You have all those days of great festivals, of great acts, sorry, great sun, nice food and drink and shit. It's a really good price, especially now as well, because you can probably book your tickets to flights super early and get them quite cheap as well. So yeah, big up Primavera. Can't wait to go there when that eventually happens.